I've started to make a kind of to-do list for uh, completing my tasks. Internships have gone structured into my problem solving approach. I'll see it, see about it on the internet. I'll read the data sheet. Then I'll approach to it and write the code. So earlier I used to do this random way, uh, like uh, without any structure. We felt that there is always a solution and we can do it. So uh, that's how we got more confident. Our self-esteem got boosted up. When someone new is starting, it's better they know the basics of the Verilog and uh, uh, synthesizability. That is one challenge we face because a lot of code can be simulated. But when synthesizing on hardware, a lot of constructs like timing constructs uh, can't be uh, synthesizable. Two posage sensitive conditions can't be synthesizable because this is very important because uh, we think in simulation it's working and hardware also it will not throw any error it will work and but it will produce a random output so i think they should uh, read about synthesizability of very log code before starting in a software which you don't know at all uh, you can learn a lot from it so you can you start with the basics first and then climb on to the much more complicated programs when you're trying to use a new software. By setting that higher target, we have achieved a lot more when compared to any other project. And I think if, even if it is impossible, you should keep trying it. Uh, that, that is something uh, which I've learned in EYRC and this internship also. When I see a problem, I would just go like, oh, it's a problem and I have to find a solution to this problem. Uh, but now what I go through in my mind when I see a problem is that why we are solving this problem? Like, why are we doing it first? How are we going to do it? Uh, why is it required to solve the problem? So I think about all the whys and hows and whats uh, before getting into the solution itself. First, it might look overwhelming implementing the complete neural network into an FPGA all the huge computations that are involved, it might look a lot overwhelming. But if we look at the problem in a step-by-step -step manner, like one problem at a time, by looking at how the computation is done, like multiply and accumulate is what happens at the basic level. So how the neurons are uh, like arranged in layers and how the layers come up together to form the complete neural network. If we look the problem in that way in a step-by-step -step manner then it will be more uh, easy for people who are coming to pursue the project i was placed in tcs uh, pune and uh, later one day by uh, seeing my linkedin profile uh, which has eantra internship one iit bombay alumni who is working in tcs hyderabad in fpg department he called me and he had a chat with me of uh, if I'm interested in working in that department, actually, it's really helpful uh, when you have this internship. They know that it's not something uh, that you have you'll do easily. They know that it is the uh, we'll do real stuff. So I think they'll they'll be really interested to uh, uh, talk to us. At least they'll talk to us, and we'll get a lot of exposure. Maybe not a job offer always. One thing which Yantra focuses on is uh, dividing the task and then approaching it. If you show me the bot which I made with SM theme, or if you show me the FPGA board and the code which I have implemented in this internship, uh, even I would not believe I have done that. But week after week, by conquering it only one aspect at a time, uh, we could have reached that stage. I think I can describe Yentra as a continuous learning process where uh, you, know, you come up with something and you uh, go away with an amplified version of what you came with. So like I came with this basic knowledge of Verilog and I came to know how to implement this neural network, a complete neural network in Verilog. We got to know a lot about how SD card works and how it can be interfaced, how the camera should be interfaced and how the interfacing works, how the FPG has to be connected, then the VGA display. Also the Axie protocol was there so, with implemented between the network and interfacing. We uh, come with a basic knowledge and then we go out with uh, an amplified version of what we have.